Hey guys, so welcome to the latest installment in my glasses vlog. Uh, for anyone who's new, I'm looking for a designer prescription eyewear on the cheap. I want to be able to change my glasses with my outfit and wear different styles and colors and things like that without breaking the bank. <clears throat> so we look at a lot of websites from China, we look at a few different options from within the U.S. and uh, and that's what this is about. <clears throat> so before I get into the meat of it, <clears throat> uh, for the sake of consistency of prices and all that, I almost always get transitions or photochromic or whatever it's called on my lenses. So when I tell you the price, that's a factor. I always get anti-glare, anti-reflective. So again, when I tell you the price, assume that's on there. Um, I always use <clears throat> browser extensions that have coupon codes like Ebates, Honey, Wikibuy. Uh, there's one other one I can't remember the name of. Maybe I can even see when I'm on here. Retail Me Not. Um, <clears throat> and so I always use those to get the best prices, so that's a factor. Um, and then I'm a member of a group on Facebook called Affordable Eyeglass Addicts, and there are coupon codes that are specific to that group. So <clears throat> I always use those, and I check the list there as well. So again, those are all factors in getting the best price, uh, which is the prices that I'm going to reference I'm talking about the stuff that I've ordered today. Um, so, another factor is uh, just keep in mind I'm a big guy, got a big head. I'm 6'2, 250 pounds. So, when you see frames on me, if they look normal size, they're probably big. If they look big, they're probably really big. Um, so, just keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> finally, check out my awesome shirt here from uh, Shop Typography. Uh, it's a, a friend of mine that is a, a phenomenal artist, photographer, and uh, owner of a t-shirt company. So you can get all sorts of cool designs that she created on t-shirts and other merch. I will try to remember to put the link in the description, but if I don't, comment and I'll give it to you. Or just search for typography or shop typography and definitely support her. <clears throat> She's just incredible and her products are incredible. And... Um, I mean, if you're into glasses, why wouldn't you want a glasses shirt? <clears throat> so you can get any color, but I liked the red with the... Anyhow, so we're going to talk about Z glasses. And Z glasses was... Uh, um, it took me a little while for them to grow on me, because when I first found them... So I'd found um, Wearlite, and then I found V glasses. And V glasses and Wearlite were real similar. <clears throat> and then I went to Z glasses, and it looks like the... The V Glasses website or the Wear Light website looked like one of their websites with the other one's product selection. I'm like, what's going on? Like, it was clear they were kind of <clears throat> inspired by some of the other companies, but they didn't have a real good selection at first. But they had a few that I hadn't seen anywhere else, and so I got them, and then they started expanding their selection. And then at some point, I can't remember if I followed them on Instagram or they followed me on Instagram, or I just tagged them in a post on Instagram when I was wearing their glasses. They started following me on Instagram, and they started emailing me designs <clears throat> that they thought I would like. I'm like, hey, we've seen you know your music work, we've seen what you wear and what you do. Um, why don't you check these out? And those designs they hadn't even put on their website yet. They were like new stuff that they were thinking of trying, and uh, you know that's that's kind of service is a good way to get me. You know, <clears throat> like ooh, I get to try new proprietary stuff. And they did that for a while, where they kept emailing me designs, and I'd be like, I said I wasn't buying any more glasses, but I can't say no when you specifically pick this out for me. Um, their prices are as low as any other company. I think it works out to being between $30 and $40 a pair with all the stuff that I get and using coupons. Uh, there usually aren't coupons for them on the browser extensions, but they do have some coupon codes that are specific to affordable eyeglass addicts that are either between 15 and 20% off. Uh, your entire order, lenses and frames. So, <clears throat> definitely join that group and use those coupon codes. Let's take a look. I've got a lot of glasses from them because I told you they were suggesting stuff to me and I'm a sucker. So in my first order, I found these. And if you recognize this frame shape, it's because I own these same frames from, I think, Wearlite, but they, di they didn't have them in white. <clears throat> I think they got them in red and blue and black, I think? I got them in a few different colors, and they came from, uh, I believe, Wearlite. You know what? Let's look, because I have a computer in front of me when I'm doing this, so why aren't we looking?
and uh, my orders. Oh, they got a BOGO going on right now. So this this vlog isn't about wear light, but <clears throat> let's see here. But if you were going to look at wear lights, uh, they often run BOGOs, and uh, BOGO is the time. Let's see, this was... Yeah, I got them in red. They got them from Wearlight, and I got them in red and blue and black. And I think I got Tortoise as well, actually. Um, but I, they didn't have them in white. And Z Glasses had the same ones, but in white. So, uh, you know, I said, well, let me. Let's, that's a good way to try that company. Because I know I like the frame shape, um, but it's just a different color. <clears throat> and then in that same first order, I got these. Which, I normally don't like round, but I've been experimenting with round when it's colors that go with my outfit. And uh, there's a picture I posted on Instagram where I was wearing a blue houndstooth suit and a blue and pink tie and a blue and pink shirt. And these looked really cool with it. So again, I don't normally do round, but... Uh, oh, I forgot to give you the numbers off the other ones. I, I skipped it because <clears throat> since they're, um, I've already, they're handmade and it's got the little china symbol. 55, 22, So yeah, I wouldn't normally buy round ones, but I like the blue and pink. It's just the colors that end up in my wardrobe a lot. And I'm trying to experiment and try some new shapes and things. So 54, 18, 142. And I've already worn them out, and I either got com either I got compliments or nobody made fun of me. Those are the uh, <laughs> those are the two ways. Not that being made fun, being made fun of is a deal breaker, but I do use that as a gauge sometimes. Another shape that I don't normally like is kind of a cat eye shape. I really feel like that's not a flattering shape for me, but I liked this color pattern. I liked that the cat eye was kind of geometric, and I wear a lot of blue, and I didn't have enough blue frames. Uh, there's definitely a picture of me wearing these with an outfit with these colors on uh, Instagram as well. And I like them. The first ones I got from these had really, really loose hinges, and so I asked them to replace them, and they sent me a free replacement, no questions asked. These ones have a little loose hinges, too, so I think that's just that frame design. They're not as bad as the first ones, and I'm not going to ask you to replace after that. Okay, so that was the first order. Second order. That was pre-pandemic. Um, and this second order, I don't want to say post-pandemic, because we're still in the middle of a pandemic. But I'm not hospitalized anymore and it's not affecting China as much anymore. It's mostly affecting the US, so in terms of buying glasses from China, they're not nearly as delayed as they were buying them during the pandemic. <clears throat> in China, in pandemic. Again, I wanna make it very clear, we're still in the middle of a pandemic here in the US. Um, so, here's, here's how they got me. This is when they started emailing me stuff. And uh, I'm looking for the ones that they sent me first. It was a variation of this. I don't remember which color it was. You've probably seen these on some of my Instagram pictures and videos too. It's just like a standard black rectangle chunky frame with then with like a lucite color thing around it. And I thought that was so cool because it looked like a standard pair of glasses I would wear but then with the extra color and the extra shape and I was, I was sold. And um... 57, 19, 146, in case anybody's wondering. Did I look up the, did I give you the numbers off the last one? I don't think I did. So let's just go back there real quick. It's these, the kind of geometric cat eye. 52, 20, 143. Again, I don't go by the numbers. I go by small, medium, and large, and I know that I need large or extra large. And I particularly like ones that are, the total width is 140 or greater. Um, but yeah, so I got those in, I think, three colors. So I showed you the red, here's the blue, same thing with a light blue. And then this is the only one I haven't actually worn yet. These are, I believe, brown on the inside with orange. So those numbers are going to be the same on all those because they're all the same frame, just different colors. If I really like something, I'll get it in all the colors. You guys know that. Okay. So then when I was buying those, I saw these. And I normally, 
am not crazy about aviators, but they had it so many colors that are useful colors to me in my outfits. So these are big sparkly, a big sparkly three color like a Neapolitan uh, aviators. And I've worn one of these before on a Sunday, and I think I took a picture for Instagram. So that is a. Uh... If there are numbers on the. If there are numbers on here, I can't read them. It's too sparkly. So there's the red, which is. I believe that's the ones I wore out. Here's blue, brown, and yellow. Here's black and white, and you guys know I have to wear a lot of black and black and white at my church, so these are always a very useful color pattern. Plus, I like the fact that they're deceptively not looking quite as big. You mainly just see the black, and then bam, there's the you know clear, sparkly part. Okay, so here's what I've alluded to in my last couple videos when I say I don't always get photochromic or transitions. I have two pairs now that I specifically bought for the Christmas season which are red and green. And uh, these, and then I have one from, I think, from Wearlight. It's either from Wearlight, I can't remember what, but there, you've seen them in a previous video. On my Christmas glasses, I don't get transitions because I'm very rarely, I'm not going to wear these any time other than December, and I spend very little time outside in December. Um, I mean, I've thought about it because, yeah, if I am outside, even if it's just walking from the car to the door, the sun reflecting off the snow is really bright and you know I mean I thought about it but realistically for glasses I'm only gonna wear during one month I just didn't feel like I could justify getting the coating on there and I was looking for a way to make my order a little cheaper and so that's what I did finally you've seen this shape before I've got them from Vogue Me and I think Zilul have had this shape before but I haven't seen this color combination in this shape and I love this shape I love the big chunky geometric So I have these in black, I have them in blue and purple, and then I, those are from different companies, and I can't think I might have them in a different color too. I can't remember, you have to go look at my other videos. But here is a black and white, or black and clear sparkly. And then here is a brown and yellow sparkly. And they had a few different colors of these. See if they can read the numbers on these. Nope. Let's see. Can I read the numbers on the black and white sparkly? Nope. Sparkles makes reading impossible. So <clears throat> that was the first order that they um, that was the first order that they emailed me and they uh, they showed me the ones with the like the, the thing around it. And I can't remember if the other ones were in the email or I went and found them on my own and added them to my order. But then they emailed me some more stuff. And so that order came yesterday, maybe the day before. And I have not had a chance to uh, take pictures or unpack them yet. So let's take a look. So this is the kind of cases they come in, by the way. I don't normally bother showing that in the video, but since these are still in the packaging, <clears throat> they normally come wrapped in a cloth and there's other sort of accoutrement. But, um, yeah. So these were in the video, and I'm, I, I prefer squares to round and even the half round, but I always need more black and white, because again, that's just a color that comes up so often. I'm at, at church, at a gig, what color are we wearing? We're wearing black, we're wearing black and white. And these were a big, bold style, and I can always use more black and white. No numbers on these, that's interesting. So, since I'm pulling these out of the box, they might not be in order. Um, so, like, I might be jumping around in terms of, uh, in terms of, like, different frames of the same type. So, these you've seen before. I have these in black, and I have them in what they call tawny from, uh, I think, Vogue Me. But Z Glasses had some different colors, and I love these. I love big, chunky squares, rectangles. 
So I got them in this, which I don't know what color this is supposed to be. It kind of looks like it fades from like a tan to a black. Any numbers on these? No. It's a little dusty too, which it might be for me. You know, your skin, your sweat, and things of that nature. We'll come back to those. I'm going to see if I can find the other ones like that and do them in order. Come back to Dune. <clears throat> yeah, they really got me. Be careful with the Z glasses, because they will get you. Oh, these are not even Z glasses. These are other glasses that I put in the case because I ended up wearing the Z glasses on a video. On my most recent installment of my show. Let's see here. Here we go. See, I knew I'd get there sooner or later. Same shape and kind of a pink and orange thing going on. Love the shape. I think this might be the first... Oh, this one's got writing on it. 56, 24, 147. And it's nice to finally have something in pink. I'm very, very careful about buying pink. Not so much that I'm insecure about being a guy wearing pink as that I don't think it looks good on my skin color. I think I'm too pasty and washed out to wear pink. But, um... Let's see what's next on the old glass redo. Here we go. Same ones. So what's the difference here? One is pink and orange, and one is pink and purple, I think. Yeah, I definitely have to wear that with a pink outfit, because again, otherwise it just doesn't really flatter my skin. But again, I'll take, I'll take risks. You guys know that. So, I can't remember which order these are with. We'll do those next because I want, I want to make sure that... I don't think I have any more in that shape, but I'll let's look and see. Okay, good. So, one of these orders, I think it was the most recent one, they emailed me this shape and I bought them because, you know, I love cool, weird shapes. And uh, then they emailed me back and said, it's out of stock, can you buy one of these other shapes instead? And I said, I really liked those. When is it going to be back in stock? And they said, 20 days, I think. And I said, you know what? Just ship them with my next order. And they did. They were very accommodating. And I really appreciate that because, you know, they didn't have to be accommodating. 43, 27, 145. Okay, so let's dig into this pile over her. So this is another one in the email. And uh, I normally try to stay away from gold. I'm more of a silver guy, but I needed some more baby blue. I didn't have a whole lot of light blue colors, and I like rectangles. And then I like the little ex extras on there that look like wings, like the glasses are going to fly off my head. So if I'm going to wear baby blue, these are cool. 52, 19, 141. And then the same frames. I don't think I had any. And see, here's how they come packaged with a... Uh, cloth around them and then with plastic on at least one of the temples. I don't think I have anything in yellow so I'm like well I need at least one pair in yellow because you never know when you're going to need to wear yellow. Did I give you the numbers off of these? That one doesn't have numbers. So yeah and again it's just a basic rectangle shape that I think flatters me but then there's you know a little extra stuff and some cool colors. I would prefer yeah 52, 19, 141. I would prefer silver to gold, but, you know, other people disagree. So, oh, wait, no, there's one more. Sorry about that. There's one more in that fam. These are a little different. These are, um, these are similar. They're rectangles with gold on the sides, but they're a slightly different shape. And, um, they're like a green marble color. And, again, I don't know when I'm going to wear that, but this was my favorite color when I was a kid. Like a green marbly. So I figured I couldn't pass that up. These are really heavy and solid feeling. Like, not heavy, like, too heavy in a bad way, but they feel really substantial. 
I got little gold pieces and things. Real thick temples, which I like. 58, 17, 140. Okay. So for the last ones in this video, remember I told you, if you watched the installments up till now, that I tried to buy some frames on um, AliExpress and they only sent half my order. And then um, when I was trying to see if they were going to send the ones they missed, Z Glasses came up with the same ones and in more colors. And uh, I was like, well, never mind AliExpress. I mean, they're a little more on Z Glasses, but I know I can trust them. So. I think these are just so cool. They look like Legos or like computer generated or, I mean, they make me look like a cartoon in a cool way. I don't know if you can really see that shape, but it looks pixelated, which I love it. I love it. I think they're so cool. So that's black. You know, if I love something, no writing, you know, if I love something, I'm not just getting it in one color. Black and red. No writing. It's interesting. Some of the companies stamp their own brand on it, and some don't even put the numbers. It's such a, you know, such a difference. Entirely red. super cool with the shirt that I have on right now. I wish I would have had these when I wore this on um, for my show. Kind of a blue and teal pixelated look. By the way, look at the temple pieces there. Here's the ones I wore on my show on Tuesday. Shades of Purple. Might be my favorite out of all of them. <clears throat> and the reason I saved... Where's the, oh, these didn't come in a case. The reason I saved these for last is because I have to email Z Glasses about these because they're not what I ordered. In the picture they sent me, they were black with blue temples, and in this case, they're black with like teal temples. The, the temple is the same as the fully teal ones. Um, and so I'm going to see if they can get the other ones, and if not, oh well, they'll probably replace them with something else. But it's not the color that I ordered. I really need just a blue would be a, would be really useful here. And they've been so accommodating. I think they'll figure out a way to help me there. Uh, okay, so. There you have it. Z glasses. They might be my new favorite. I, um, Wear Light was my former favorite. They, um, they really had a lot of styles that I really liked, and they shipped quickly, and their prices were competitive. Um, there's a lot of things I like about Vogue Me. There's a lot of things, I, although we have an issue with Vogue Me, and we'll get to that in another vlog. Uh, there's another, a lot of things I like about V glasses. Um, but the service that I'm getting from these guys in terms of like actually sending me personalized recommendations, I mean, that is above and beyond. And they're giving me discounts. Um, you know, I think it's, you know, again, I'm sure they, they, they see my posts and my posts get a lot of attention. So I'm sure that's part of it. I'm sure they're looking at it like they're getting, you know, free advertising by selling me stuff at a discount. Um, although the only discount I'm using is the discount that's available to anybody in the group. So they're really just getting free advertising, period. I'm sure that's how they look at it, but I look at it like I'm getting free customer service, like a personal shopper for glasses or something. So it's a win-win situation, and um, I just can't afford to spend all my money on glasses. Um, but yeah, they're definitely... I really like them, and uh, I really like the service they've offered me. Um, so... I would definitely recommend them. Again, if you want to get the best deal, use the coupon codes in the group. Um, and they have lots, as you can see, they have lots of stuff that's not even on their website. Their website's got some errors. I think I think they might be the ones where the sizes are all wrong. Like, they, you don't just check the medium section of your medium or the large section of your large because a lot of them are mischaracterized. Mis mischaracterized? Miscategorized. Um, I think that's Z-glasses that's like that. 
Uh, and I check, I do that with all the sites because you just never know when they're going to make a mistake. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of stuff that I really like. Their service has been wonderful. They're clearly a new company that's trying to come up, and I'm a big supporter of that as well. Um, yeah, I just I want to uh, want to support them, and I hope that they do well, and I hope that they continue to find cool stuff for me and offer me deals, and uh, I hope that they do the same for you. So, um, again, that's the final installment for today. I'm going to, I don't think I have any new, I don't think I have any new companies that I haven't mentioned before. I think that the, my next few episodes are all going to be, here's an update from VogueMe, here's an update from Firmu, here's an update from Zlul, here's an update from CIware. Um, I think that's what the next several videos are going to be like. Um, but I can't remember. There might be something new. Um, and definitely, like I said, keep an eye on that group because the ones I'm getting from C were offered there at a discount uh, at $50 a piece for the frames. You know, C frames normally start at like $350, I think. So, you know? And, um, yeah, I got too many glasses. I got more than are on this shirt. But the great thing about it is I have to wear them every day and I can change them and it's not like, you know, I can't put on a suit every day if I'm just going to the grocery store. I'll, you know, I'll wear out my suits. But I can put on a cool pair of glasses every day. So, um, again, I hope this vlog helps you guys. If there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know. If there's any companies watching, um, you know reach out to me and, and, and like Z Glasses did and, you know, let me know what you got. And uh, definitely uh, just trying to spread the word about uh, styles and deals that I like. And hopefully uh, you like them too. So thanks for watching.